Guys, we'd like to thank you so much for helping us get to over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's been an amazing journey, and I feel like that journey is just beginning. For all of you guys wondering about the Drift Games compound, what's happening there, when I get back from Abu Dhabi, I will do a longer video explaining all of that. What I can tell you is I spoke with our partners and our investors today. They're happy, we're proceeding to the next stage, and it's an amazing feeling, just an amazing emotional time for us here at Drift Games. I'm in Abu Dhabi, Josh is in Ireland, but it's just amazing. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate this. So let's carry on from what Dave was saying. Honestly, the support that we've gotten this last month for you guys pushing us to 100,000 subscribers is just unbelievable. When we set out the target ourselves, we thought it was very ambitious, but you guys have absolutely smashed it, and it's still going. We're above 100,000 now, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down, and it's exciting to see where it's gonna take us. But for now, let's get into today's video. Alright guys, welcome to another episode of the Drift Games vlog. We're giving you these videos almost every day now, really, really raw. Hope you're enjoying them. Uh, we've actually just left Kansas Motorsport and I've got my beautiful carbon grill for my PS13, which you'll have seen in the last episode. If you didn't check out the last episode in Kansas, it's so worth it. GTR heaven, JDM heaven, go back and watch it. However, we're now gonna go and check out Ahmed Daham's workshop. Um, he's had a bit of a calamity lately because basically had an entire mudslide into his uh, workshop and it buried a lot of his vans and cars. So we're gonna go check out the damage, also gonna check out his workshop. And our good friend, Dan Price, hello Dan. Oh, hi. Uh, we've done a bit of a swap, so I've swapped him this beautiful, okay, glorious Yaris, eh? beautiful Yaris here. Uh, he, look, he said to me, do you mind if I try it out? Do you mind if I just see if it's all that? And I said, well, I'm gonna take his car, it's, I don't know, some Porsche GT3 or something, but I'm gonna miss the Yaris. But look, Dan, you know, he begged me, so I said, why not? It could so, be a permanent deal, eh? Well, <laughs> not too soon. I'm gonna have to test drive this just to see if it is better than the Yaris. The Yaris does do good fuel economy. They even left the sticker on the side of it for the fuel economy. We're gonna take this for a quick spin through Dubai, through the industrial estate, see what the GT3 is like, and then head off to the Hams. That's a noise. Come on, Dave, you're a big Porsche guy here. I've actually owned this car, but in a lesser version. I've had a 997 in the past, so I'm really eager to see what the difference between the stock 997 and the GT3 is, so I'm excited. These Porsches are amazing because they feel like an old school Honda. You've really got to rev them out to get them to do anything, but when you do, it's so rewarding. They handle just incredibly well. It's the top of the rev range, but it really does kind of just go. Oh, it's like up to 5,000, they do very little, and then the world just explodes. They're awesome. What does it rev to? Eight and a half, 9,000 RPM. Wow, you've been tame on this. Yeah. Right, once it's properly warmed up, give it the beans to 9,000. Oh, speed hump. Uh. Oh, you got overtaken by You got overtaken by man in the bike. Was that 9,000? That was 9,000. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> Restaurant Yaris. Restaurant Yaris. I mean, it can't get any worse. I mean, the back seats are. Uh, fair enough, you, would, you wouldn't be able to eat too much in the GT3, so this is actually a big step up for us. So as much as we've been lighthearted up to this point in the vlog, um, something pretty devastating happened to one of our friends, Ahmed Daham, who's a driver here in the Emirates Drift Championship. And on the right there, you can see a van that sort of alludes to it. So basically, someone who was building in the area had been building huge amounts of sand and topsoil behind his workshop and then there was a massive storm and a flood and all of that sand turned to mud and completely buried everything. So we're gonna go catch up with him, see what happened, get his story and to your right you'll see some of the devastation. There was a 350Z shell all caged and that's a good example of the damage that was done in this area. So we're gonna go in and see and um, see how bad it is. Like that was quite literally buried. Like buried from top to bottom. Yeah, now we have a lot of pictures and videos of what he found at the time, but we'll let him explain it as he goes through it because 
it's like everyone's worst nightmare who's into cars like to arrive to your workshop in the morning it was the first of january so he just celebrated new year's gets a call the next morning that this entire industrial estate is about seven six seven feet of sand everything buried so let's go see what happened i say we can see where the sand came from anyways yeah, it came from up there obviously but um so this is how high it was. It took them like hours to get even in, but we'll let him explain. And the boys are here. Yeah. Hello. 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 The boys are here. How are you? Good, man. All good. good to see you. Good to see you too. So for people watching at home who might not be aware of who you are, give us like the one minute history lesson of Ahmed Daham. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm Ahmed Daham. I'm a drifter, uh, four time Middle East champion, Guinness World Record holder with James Dean. Yep. For sure everyone knows James Dean. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm actually a, uh, one of the uh, good tuners, let's say, in the Middle East. He makes things go bang, 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 bang loud, 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 loud. I actually uh, created the anti-lag scene in drift cars, let's say, in the Middle East. Then, you know, in back. Single-handedly responsible. Single-handedly responsible, so, responsible so, for everyone yeah. goes deaf. He, he, says it, it. he says it in a proud way. Yeah. But yesterday, when I was judging the event, I couldn't hear myself for an hour afterwards, so that's his fault. Yeah, that's my fault. So this is your workshop. This, is, this was my workshop. This was your workshop. <laughs> my workshop when it was in one, uh, one yeah, piece. Yeah, and, and we said, look, it's lighthearted. We'll try to stay lighthearted, but it wasn't a very lighthearted thing. So let's no, go outside no, and see no, and explain to us what, yeah, yeah, what I'll happened. Show you, I'll show you what happened. So this is so yeah, this is this the was, this was the culprit. This is the the, uh, the mountain of uh, of I don't know death. <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> what we can call yeah. it to be honest. Eh? But yeah, okay. Over here, there's a wall before. So this wall. So this wall. The, this wall I suppose they're solving the problem. So I think it's going to be the same. Shit anyways, so I don't know. For the past five or ten years, a constructor used to throw all his waste over here. All his waste sand. All from his waste building. sand from everything. So he built up. This was even higher than before. Eh? From now, uh, so the build up and with the rain on New Year's, there was a huge, huge. Bandage. So obviously, it doesn't rain here a lot. No, but when it does, but when it, it does, it gives it a good go. No, no, but everyone, <laughs> everyone said the one that happened on New Year was, has never happened like for the past 10 or 15 years. And so it was that much, it, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So it took all the dirt with it, uh, destroyed the wall, and then took everything. And so all of this <laughs> went down here. So we yeah, have pictures was, and videos. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. To you, show you, you, guys. you guys will see the pictures and videos. And I'll show you in the back too. The back was even worse. RCF was parked over here. This is your RCF. <laughs> yes. Proper. This is your demo car. This is my demo car, yeah. yeah. So we'll show some pictures of that now. And uh, that car was like, that's a beautiful car. It is, to be honest. Yeah. And what's it's the condition shame. of it now? It's a shame. Is no, it? it's, uh, everything's gone from the inside. Engine, wiring, ECUs, uh, fuel cell, everything. It's just gone. So yeah, but the body is still in one, almost. So it's okay. Like, are you going to start again, or is it like just? Yeah, yeah, we're going to rebuild the car. Because oh, anyways, we're, we're going to put a 2J in it, so we have an engine ready for it. So we're going to rebuild the car, but with a 2JZ engine. So this is. Oh, okay. This was one of the worst parts. Jeez, you can see everything is destroyed. Was well, it essentially just like? Uh, oh my God. We're still here almost. It was high, and you cannot see all of these. Eh? So yeah, these yeah. were just gone. It was just completely disappeared. It was, yeah. yeah. And you, you come here. I'll send you pictures too. And you, you come these here. These are all two J's. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh too bad. man. I'll tell you. It was like. One, oh two, three, man. Four, five, oh six, my. Seven. It was like ten or twelve two J's blocks. <laughs> that that's making a lot of people right now just. I know. That's a, oh that's my shame, yeah. god. <laughs> Just I don't know how you laugh. I suppose if you don't laugh, you cry. Yeah. Like, at least at least you got first place yesterday, so it's, it's, it's yeah. yeah. It, it, it made up a little yeah. bit, <laughs> and then but, I get so back you, to this today. Do you think these are done now? Just I don't think so. No, we're gonna take Just them clean apart. Them all out. Yeah, we clean them all out. Yeah, but the thing is, we had no time to even fix the shop or clean the shop because uh, we're preparing for drifts. They're all everything is back to back now. You can see how we're high the sand was here. You can see how high it is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You, see, you cannot see anything. Was this just like a sand river, just? I think it's just a b b b mud, mud flood or something. Yeah, it's just like dirt and water. It came mud. It's a, it was weird. And the worst thing is, it's all everything needs to be cleaned. Everything is full of everything sand. Everything needs to be cleaned. Yeah, everything. The RCF took us like a day just to get it out, and then a day just to clean. A day, a day to clean. And, and your we, van we, as well we, was we, like under. Van is over there. We parked over there. And it was yeah. like a, a three, four. The feet. engine is gone. <laughs> the engine wiring is gone. Eh? And hopefully, I don't. They think this is going to fix the issues. I don't think so. 
This this, this wall. I don't think so. It's gonna be the same thing. <laughs> to me, it doesn't look like they've made a great solution. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. I'm no builder, but I reckon I could say that's not gonna stop. That's not gonna stop anything. And that's you know why, what the problem that's is? why we're gonna move. And the 350Z was parked over there. I don't know if you saw, saw it. it on the road. Oh, we saw that outside. So that was supposed to be a uh, practice missile car. That's not anymore. No. <laughs> no. But the thing is, it's like the construction guys will say, well, it didn't happen in 15 years. It won't happen for another 15 exactly. years. They exactly. don't bother fixing exactly. it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, there's no first use of all, we've got a big exclusive here on the channel. So uh, as you know, uh, Ahmed Ham, one of the best 2JZ tuners in the entire Middle East, but the secret he doesn't tell anybody is he's no. driving around in a V8 <laughs> Mercedes. <laughs> so, supercharged. <laughs> supercharged. So this is a rare car. Yeah, yes. But I actually found out after buying it, man. I was in Awir, you know Awir? Have you been to yeah. Awir? It's like but there's loads car, of cars. Yeah, loads yeah. of cars. So I was like driving around. Just, I just want to buy any car. So I just saw it parked like really far away. After buying it, uh, I realized there's only 1,400 of them in the world. Yeah, the the, the wagon. Yeah, yeah, the sedan one. There's a lot. But uh, yeah, it's actually quite rare. And it's it's nice to drive. They're a beautiful car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes me look older. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone sees me like wagon. Yeah, you, 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 you get on a bit now. You got yeah, a sensible I know. car. Yeah, yeah. Sensible car. That's how. That's how you know you're getting older. When you, when start, you start looking. Look, when you start looking at wagons. It's like you, wagons. You, exactly. You, you, that's yeah, it. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I also have an E30 wagon in Jordan. And you're like, I can fit so much stuff in this. It's so practical. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, why am I thinking? Kids and yeah. <laughs> so this is the inside of the workshop. This well, is the inside of the workshop. Yes. So a lot of sand still in here as well. This was, this is nothing, man. It was almost to here. What are you going to say? We, this is actually, we, we, we were quite good. lucky. We were quite lucky. No, it looks really bad now. Man. <laughs> it's, it's I bad. was expecting yeah. a lot worse, to be fair. Well, this place uh, is usually... Because we cleaned it twice. Okay. And it's still like this, because it took them four or five days to clear the mud outside. So when you got in, how long did it take you to get in the doors? A whole day. A whole day? Just oh, to break God. the window from the bathroom and come inside, because the mud was all closed over here. Man. It's, it's, uh, it took quite a time. <laughs> That is miserable. Yeah, yeah. So, if, if we've obviously shown some pictures of the other RCF, the demo one. This is not the demo one, this is the no, pro this one. Is the, this is the real one. This and is this the, is the one. Stop this one. This was the, this, this happened to this. That, yeah, yeah, that's that's why you had it up on the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at it really Yeah, thought. exactly. This is the first thing that I, I had to come inside from the bathroom to check on this one, to be honest. And this, this one and the S14, because we had EDC coming up, so I was like, yeah. there's no cars to compete in. Yeah, and so the S14? Uh, the S14, no, nothing. Was that here? It was actually parked on the door, exactly. No here. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And absolutely. I fun. was. It was like one centimeter away from the mud coming inside the engine. It was. Wow. It was so close to the oil pan. It was a, oh. Wow. Yeah. It was so this is the one I always call this the internet breaker because you did that very very infamous video where you went up the uh, that sea, the lowest point on earth. Yeah. Yeah. We launched it from the lowest. And it was point like drifting the main. And it was built. It's like a toge, right? It's like a mountain yes, road. That's yes, like a toge, yeah, and you yeah, drift it's a really car. nice mountain. We'll throw a couple of shots in of it, but that was um, the most badass video. And it was built. And uh, during uh, during Corona, yeah, and the, and the lockdown, the we two, know two month lockdown, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys know. <laughs> we're, we're sure. we, uh, we know all about that fun. <laughs> Did all the parts just arrive really quickly and everything was fine? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that the, not that, at all. That's this, why that's why the engine failed actually, because we built the engine without main caps. Okay. No one was shipping anything. You just had to do it. So we had to do it just and, for the video, and it revs to nine thousand five hundred. So the main caps failed. Yeah. So which engine is in this? Well, there's no engine right now. There's a 2J in this one. 2J, yeah. And so you're you are partnered with Lexus. Yes, w was was partnered yeah, with Lexus. Yeah, yeah. Lexus, and they gave you the chassis, the RCF chassis, exactly. which are, which look amazing, by the way. Yeah, to be honest. And yeah. this kit is custom for this car, is it? Yes. So this is the first. It's a Rocket Bunny, Kevlar body kit. So you got a Rocket Bunny kit, then molded it in Kevlar, and made it Kevlar. And the whole, the whole car is Kevlar. The whole car is Kevlar. The whole car is Kevlar. Which is mad because not only is it mad to see. This is like, say, the second one of these I've seen ever as drift car. But yeah, a fully true, Kevlar true. one is and crazy. And to be honest, they have a lot of grip. Cars, car. Nice chassis. It's, oof, it's a nice chassis. Yeah. So it's similar to E92. Yeah. They look it's kind of they similar. Same wheelbase. Wheel exactly. Yeah. Same. Same width. Same. Everything. That's very cool. Very I, kind of like, to it. I like the super aggressive uh, grill of these. And it looks very aggressive. It looks very. The front good. looks uh, amazing. Hopefully, we should be taking this for the masters. This is this is a future drift master's yeah, car. Yeah, this is a future drift Because this, this is the one. This, this is, is what I always one, say yeah. that like it'll just fit in beautifully. Because in drift I think masters. over here it's too big and too powerful for the tracks that have to be quite tight here. Yeah, yeah. Even Oman, any I don't think uh, I might be just taking it to Oman and that's 14 just to test the car. Yeah. Because I haven't tried in the decent track so far. So and then if it's all good, we will take it to drift master. What hopefully. sort of power are you hoping to run in this when the 2J goes this in? This is we made 1,200 horsepower. 1,200. 
It's enough. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> that it even sounds good, man. The, the, the more RPM, the more you rev the 2J, the better it sounds. 9,000? Yeah, 9, that's that's 9,500 for 9, 9, 9,500 yeah. is very high for yeah, 2J. Yeah, yeah. And I very, know. very high. And the thing is, <laughs> you know them so well that you can get away with it. But I think with the next engine, we're going to go down to 9,000. Oh, because 9,500 <laughs> <laughs> 9, on, on a drift car is like too much. Maybe on a drag or something because you barely are in the rev limiter. It's 9,500 being on the rev limiter most of the time. And it's is, harsh on the car. It's harsh on the car, yeah. yeah. It's 9,000, we should be okay. So here's a question that randomly before we go upstairs and see mm -hmm. the rest of the place. What's the highest horsepower car you've ever tuned in the 1, Middle East? The one I'm, I'm going to be using next week in Suhan Mayan. It's 1,870 horsepower, 2JZ. 1,870 horsepower. On a stock iron block. It's built, of course, but it's a stock iron block, not billet. Because usually, might... if you want to go over 1,600, 1,700, then you need a billet block. Yeah. So, yeah, this one is the highest one. We're going to be using Swahan. I'm going to be driving it in Swahan Mine next week. Hopefully. How do you enjoy that? Is Hopefully, man. Three times the horsepower of my Corvette. <laughs> Well, that's what we're saying at Titan. They had their billet blocks and they say they build them to 2,000 horsepower. But a standard block. Titan reached 2,500? Yeah. They actually reached 3,500. 3,500, yeah. oh, wow, that's crazy. Was their highest. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. We, we never asked them for how long, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing. 30 that's the thing, yeah. So this is the it used to be a chill out area. The sand was made it up here. <laughs> Looks cool, but it's quite dirty. It's very cool. This is where we spend most of our time, to be honest. And in the simulator, uh, planning, planning the year. Everything. So you've got sim to get, keep fresh or yeah, yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of trophies. Yeah. So like the this is trophies. Yeah. I can imagine there's a lot more than this. Yes. I think I've seen you win more. Easy. Yeah, another one from yesterday. Well, I guess it's a little bit smaller than these. <laughs> <laughs> Not worthy of putting up yeah, there. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> so basically, bigger. these are from all different championships around the Middle East. Basically, yeah. you've, com you've competed in quite a few. Yeah. And then you first Middle Eastern oh, driver. Uh, hey, from this is where so I started. Wow. This, is, this, is, this is where you started. And this is where you started. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to know a little it history lesson. Um, I think. Uh, the, no, Dubai Autodrome was the first one. And I think I was there for your first ever tandem battle. Because you had done car park drift and stuff before. Yeah, yeah, even the S13-15 S yeah. was white. Yes. Not a single sponsor. And <laughs> I came on my own. <laughs> And he, he, I think he was second maybe at the first event and it was his first time ever tandeming and he got all the way to second place and I was like I wish I could do that on my first ever <laughs> but it's been going pretty well since then yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been a long it's been a long and trip and all the way from the white S15 working 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 up to the Red Bull partnership exactly. and the first driver from the Middle East to do and Lexus and then yeah all, all, all coming along yeah, right yeah. and you're the first Middle East driver to do drift masters Yes, which is honest, another yeah, nice yeah, little. Yeah. We didn't get lucky over there. It was hopefully, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. And then got the boys showing out. This is a nice spot, isn't it? Yes, lovely. Party on party. Bye bye bye. Simulator. It's not, it's not these are very cool. These are very cool. Yeah, yeah these are the Red Bull Carbon Drift ones. Uh, two of them are when I won the Middle East uh, twice, back to back. You nearly got a car there. Yeah, exactly. tire. <laughs> steering wheel. You, know, you can put tire. the tire on that and then you have a handbrake. But they're, but they're quite heavy. Try, try lifting this one. Oh, oh Jeez. God. <laughs> Jeez, that is Imagine heavy. Imagine lifting this over your head. Oh, you're like, <laughs> take the photos quickly, please. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, you attempt to put it back up there. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's where it stays. We've obviously shown you guys uh, the, well, look, not, <laughs> not in the best situation, yeah. But, yeah. but the thing is, hopefully, you'll you come see how you see how upbeat he is about the misery that he's have to show what you. Can I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what can you do? So, <laughs> you're gonna be moving to a new workshop, yeah, yeah. You're hopefully, be... maybe next round should be ready. You come, I'll show you the whole thing, and it's, it's three times bigger than this one. Uh, to fit all the cars, <laughs> to be honest, because because uh, I have around six drift cars now, so seven drift cars now. You have so one here, which is left with no engine. Every, you have six of them in total. I think we should come back and see his new workshop. See, yeah, yeah, we're gonna put them all together and show. I'll take you a tour and show them. Show you all. Absolutely. Them again, yeah. And I also want to see all the madness. And also, we want to. I don't know, but we want to see your tuning as well. We want to because you you use Link obviously, like yeah, for course, everything. Yeah, I've been using Link since 2008. Man. Before Link was cool. Before Link was cool. <laughs> yeah, I was using them. Now it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, but yeah. we also, obviously, we're supported by Link and you are using them every day. Yes. So for us, we kind of know what they do. We, we know in theory, but you know in practice, you use them all the time. We can, uh, I can take you next time for the, for the Supra, when I go to you in the Supra, when we check it. Oh, that would be amazing. Uh, it's running a Link EC2. It's running an Extreme G4X. 
Okay, so, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ask you guys, this is a little bit of a... Show you guys how we tune a 1,800 horsepower car. With the Daham anti-lag. That would be like. interesting. No, it doesn't run anti-lag. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a drift car. Secret, <laughs> secretly, I'm happy. Secret, secretly, <laughs> I'm very happy it doesn't run anti-lag. So, basically what we're gonna do, it's a little bit kind of an impromptu drop in, just to see how you are, just see how the place is. We got to show you guys all kind of the, the madness that happened, but still a positive outcome. Moving to a new place, we're gonna see six drift cars. I think, if you guys let us know in the comments, we should go follow you to the dyno and watch him tune a Link ECU yep. for some crazy cars. So let us know in the comments below. And uh, this was like a little quick short run around uh, the Hams. Sort of now old workshop. Sort of my old workshop. Yeah. We'll Which, see you next time. We'll see you next time. Workshop. Yeah, we're going to go to the new workshop. You know what's the sign up there, Dave? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> it? You know, you I, to, I, I was you trying. You my job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. You, you do it. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned. I don't know what's coming tomorrow, but it will be special from Dubai. And uh, it might be with our good friend Sultan. So stay tuned for that. Bye.